Welcome to Anthony's Not Done Garage. Actually, Anthony's Crosshair Garage. See behind me, I got a pile of stone. What you don't see is no equipment. So, I was hoping to fill in my back wall and get it done today, or this weekend rather. That's not going to happen. So, I bought some parts for the Boss Hog there about three weeks ago. I tried, I hauled a uh, mini with it and about burn it up, driving up the mountain, pulling that mini. And I'm going to show you what the wipers do. It's a common issue with these older Chevys. Speed truck actually does it too. Turn on your wipers. Oh, it's working now. Of course it is. Well, I was going to show you, but the wipers just go and 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 don't stop. The module goes bad in these. We can pick them up with just these dormant modules. We'll get that put on. And the clutch fan wasn't working when he was pulling that mini, so we're going to put a new clutch on the fan. I have a special tool to do those jobs. But, but, let someone use it. I could have got it back today. I'm going to see if I can do it without. I know one trick to do it. And we'll see if I can try some other methods to get it off. Back here is this little box we got to change. I'm going to try to fix it with speaker wire. I'm not sure if they're trying to just hold it tight or what. house wire sorry connector looks good there's only three bolts here to get loosened That's just a cover. That just slides out. I'm not sure if these get bad or what the deal is. I don't know, does it say dormant on it? That looks pretty original thing. Here's the new one. We'll get it slider right in there. Also comes with new bolts. <clears throat> I'm just not sure what the torque is. I'm sure it's not very much for these. I'll plug that back in. Well, they were working before and they're working again. I don't know, when, when, maybe. I'm going to screw up again. All right. For this clutch, we have to get it off the, the pulley. Of course, I'm just getting done running this truck not too long ago, so it's getting hot. Uh, I can get some bolts down here and bolts across there. Two bolts over here. As you can see, the fan just sits there and moves. I just noticed something. I forgot there's an old school clutch fan. I don't have to knock a big nut loose. Sorry about that. I guess we're not going to try special tricks. We're just going to unbolt it. Sorry about that, old buddy. You got a little too violent. <clears throat> Can I log, please? Yep. Get my. <sighs> I 
Let's get this fan out. I'll show you where the pillows are. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's shot. I could be wrong. Let's get this fan off. This one turns pretty easy. That one does not turn easy. So junk. Looks pretty much original. We went squirrel hunting today. And we only caught one squirrel because of me. Some of them ran away and some of them ran away because I was talking. Daddy, can you move out of my way? I can't see anything. Well, I can barely see myself, son. All right, go tighten her down. Good, yeah, sweetie. Hmm? Yeah, put the last two bolts in and we're done. Yay! Yeah. Okay. And I got, yeah, go away. Yeah. Dad, look what I got for you. I got your Jeep. Dad, I got your Jeep. Here you did. What's this? For Christmas. Yep, here you go. For my grandma Poppy that Poppy gave you. You're welcome. What is this? What is this? Oh, yeah. another short video unless I film tomorrow moving tree stands. Say hi dog. Hi. We we'll go to an entry across all these garage. Well not really. We already did the entry. We already did a small repair on the uh, boss hog over there. And then of course then I had to work on this. And now you have to work on the speed truck. Get it all leveled out. And we had to work on the speed truck at work. No, we gotta work on the Rambler. Lost fuel pump in the Rambler there at work. One day you See if I can't rebuild it. Yeah. One day. Get the wall filled in in the back. Hey, Dad. What? One day you really need to fix the speed truck because it has water stuck in the engine. Yeah, it does. So we have to try to get it out one day. Water? Yeah. yeah. There ain't no water in the engine. Yes, there is. A long time ago, there was. I don't think you're talking right. I think the, the water leaked out. I'm going to have to redesign this garage. Right here is going to be the one door for the car storage. Mm -hmm. And right there is where my lift's going to be. And that's how and we as you can see, we got a bit of a drop here. So we got to to try to build a ramp here of some sorts. Where are we taking, Dad? Well, it's going to be a garage door here, but this thing will work. It'll extra, be a loading dock. We got some extra wood. So I think I redesigned and put a, we got extra wood a garage these. door back here, so I can get yeah, in that way. Me talk. But, we got some extra wood, so if this falls off, we can put some more wood on it. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we're going to run to the shop here and start working on this. Fix on the Rambler outside. Try to get rebuilt. Could just put a clicker clacker on there, but bunch of wipers wouldn't work. All right, we're up here. Undisclosed location. <laughs> All right, I get the, the rebuild kit with me. I gotta find the filter too. I know. I don't know where it's at. You don't? No. 
Oh, that one's paired up, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it might be over in the scotch shop. Oh, it's gonna be easy enough. Get the fuel line off. I'm gonna break clean the crap out. There, it's on. Huh? Up there. Good job, buddy. Awesome. Exactly. You know what? That's grease off there. Oh. Is that water? No, it's brake clean. Oh. Smells off. Awesome. Oh, off. That's off. I need a wrench. It has a five and an eight. Five and an eight. Five and an eight. There's your second bolt out. Oh. Speak to that high pitch. That five piece started. All right, I got this fuel pump out. I don't know anything about rebuilding a manual fuel pump. But looks I'm hoping just replace this diaphragm here maybe. That's just gonna be my issue. That comes apart still. Alright, our screws are out, but that's not coming loose. I didn't do nothing. Hit with a hammer again. Uh huh. We'll take the top off. Ooh, I don't know if I can get this back on. I hope I can get that back on. Well, this is becoming more of a project than what I anticipated. I'll get this pin drove out. There we go. This is just a retainer to hold that rope pin in. I think one more hit I can do with this punch and it's too long. That's far enough though. Yeah, I'll just pull it out again. And pull this off. Perfect. Right there, my pump's all the way apart. Pays her down again. So now, I think I got a gasket for this. Go ahead and change that. Oh, hammer time. Da -da -da -da. Gasket. Iron started leaking around the seals. I guess right there on the edge here was leaking. Inside of it wasn't even really that bad. Yeah, maybe not. It's just kind of cracking, crappy looking. But we got a new one. We'll put it back together here after I find some RTV. All right, welcome back to Straight from the Tailgate. No, yeah, no, really, but yeah, Straight from the Tailgate. <laughs> All right, we gotta change the, the crackhead gasket, the happy gasket. Look at, look at you, so happy. We're gonna start reassembling this thing. I got a filter for the float bowl. I hope that's right. That's the only one that's listed. It was a seventy-dollar filter for a cartridge filter. Hmm. Yeah, seventy dollars for that. So that's cool. Not really. <coughs> Alrighty, well, battery went dead. 
I got everybody moves the way in there. Just keep on driving her home here. There. Being flush. Didn't crack it. I can drive this home today. I'm gonna find out. I still got a cool upstairs I need to put in it. Looking good. Back on. Everything's together. Other than this, put this back in. That didn't do anything taking that out. There. Back together. Now what do I do with it? Now I'm gonna get one more gas to the left. My kit I need to use to the block. Let's get this back over to the car and get it put on here and I'll sit here and crank and crank and crank and crank and see if it builds up fuel pressure and see if that fixes my problem. Or it's just in a boom. <coughs> Alright, bolting this back on here. All right, moment of truth here. Let's see if I can get this thing running again. <coughs> I get no fuel. Let's get a little something here. Folks, <laughs> if I'm not running good, I'm not running at all. All right, what was wrong, Dom? Well, you had to put some gas in it, and I'll go see if it works. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if it works now. And also, I fixed the pump too good, bud. <laughs> hold it, just hold it. I guess you won't start off, Dad. <laughs> Show you, Dad. Silly Daddy. Alright, there you go. Let's no. Turn it. Yeah. Yeah. Turn the key on and put gas in it. Yeah. I did it, huh? Well, I fiddled with the uh, points a little bit. This distributor's pretty wore out on this car. Now it's been idle in here for a good while. I mean, Dom, see if we can get her back home. Like I said, that'll do it for this episode and see if we can make her back home and start running this old girl again. Stop, first stop's gas station. Hey, a little PS on the end of this uh, video. Hey! Hey! Do it! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Alright, stop. Alright, let me put PS on this video. The accelerator pump for that carburetor is stuck. Uh, broke a little plastic lever. I got a whole nother carburetor ordered. I tried rebuilding that thing once and I don't know. Got uh, the garage clean. So hopefully, 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 hopefully I get started back on this, this uh, engine swap and train, or not engine swap, tranny swap. Oh.